quick overview by Metrix. I'm today going to be building another one of my Hero Factory mocks, and it is Cortex today, a uh, computer type thing. So yeah, let's get started. So uh, first of all, we're going to be still using that method where I build half the mock, and then the other half is already pre-built. But uh, here we have right here is on basically the main face of the uh, kind of robot type brain thing, and then one of the arms that connects it and make, gives it kind of its rounder shape. So if that makes any sense. Um, you'll need um, one, uh, you'll need five of these type pieces, the uh, upper arm pieces, just five as you see here. Um, these one, two, three, and four you'll need um, double of to make the other side. So yeah, let's get started. For the face, it's pretty simple. Take these and you put them all together. Like I said, you only need one of these, so that. Then you're going to bend it and connect it. Then you're going to put it into a pentagon shape, like so. Like I said, you only need one of these, so set that over here. Then for this, you're going to take this. There's a double socket. I'm going to put on this uh, small bone piece. Put on another small bone piece. And then put on this uh, three long trans blue armor shell, like so. There you have both of those. Pretty simple so far. And uh, here is the other one. By the way, we're um, going to be building all of the uh, right side of the mock. So yeah, here's the uh, left side. And then let me switch this around, I think. No? Wait. Hold up. There you go. Now it's right. So there you have these and the face. Here are all the parts you'll need for two more of the appendages for the uh, kind of shaping of the robot body. Uh, you'll need twice the pieces you see here, and this builds two of those limbs, So, and they're both on the right side, though um, you just kind of mirror the build. So let's get started. So first you're going to take two connectors and put them together like so, just like that. Just hold this like this. Then you're going to add two of these upper arm pieces, like so, just like that. Next, what you want to do is add this piece, and this one's in gray. This time, not a very common color. Put that on. Then put on this paw piece. Like so, there you have it like that. Next, what you want to do, take one of these in trans blue, put that on like that. Then take one of these with two technicals, put it on like so. So, there you have that. There's what that looks like. And... Here's its mirror twin. So yeah, pretty simple. So let's set these off to the side. Next you're going to build another one of the appendages. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this double socket right here and you're going to put on this piece with the one technical just like that. Next what you want to do is take two of these with the two technicals, put them together, then on the farthest one add a trans blue bone piece and onto that just add a friction extender just for some like a uh, coupling detail because it looks like something would plug into that so then put that on to the back right here kind of twist things around see like that All right then what you want to do take this four long gun little gray piece and this bone piece and put it like that and then snap that on to here so there you have this one now let's see the mirror twin as you can see, pretty simple. And there you have it. Here are all the parts you'll need for the main body, or uh, I guess center of the robot. Uh, you won't need twice as many parts as you see here, so uh, let's get started. Let's start with an easy part. So you're going to take this with the two technicals and this bone piece, put those together, then put a foot on there, just like that. Yeah, foot. Uh, next, what you want to do is take uh, this four long gun metal gray piece, snap it on like that, it kind of fit in there. Then you're going to take this bionicle part to add some details to the thing, put that on like that. Next, what you want to do is snap that on to the neck of this smaller torso piece. There you have that. So, yeah. Next, what you want to do is you're going to take this and it's going to be upside down. Then you're going to take this bone piece snap that on here and put on this uh, silver 5.0 chest plate and a silver bionicle add-on part just to add some more technical details to the thing so yeah just like that so 
Next, what you want to do is you're going to take some of these pins. Hopefully, I get this configuration right. Let's start from the top down. So, take a Technic pin and put it in here, like so. Next one is going to go like this. And the last one should go, not that one, this one, like that. So, it should look just like that. And you're going to use that to connect this body. And it's going to connect right here so that these two ball joints are on top of this, I guess. So, it's going to look like that. So there you go. Alright, so next we have to connect the rest of the stuff. So, what you want to do is you're going to take this uh, rib cage piece in gunmetal gray, snap that onto the bottom here. Alright, now that that's done, you're going to take a. Uh, let's see, which order to go this in. Alright, so you're going to put this on like so. And then what you're going to do is take this. Well, actually, I don't know what I'm doing. But. Basically, you're just going to attach this. It's going to go on here, just like that. So it'll look like that. It's basically, upside down on the uh, larger torso piece. So then it can connect this. And then on that, I'm going to take these two bone pieces in trans blue, connect those together, and then put the on there to kind of help you know where the eye is looking. And then just like that. So there you have the uh, core. Trying to get it all in frame. Up. Yeah, that's basically the core part of the thing. It looks pretty crazy now, but when it comes together, it'll look a bit better. So, yeah. Alright, now we're ready for the final assembly of these mocks. Or this mock, not these. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, like I said, this is the main face. This is where um, a lot of these appendages are going to connect. But before we do that, let's go ahead and connect something a bit simpler. So, these are going to attach here onto these ball joints, which are from the larger torso piece, like so, and like so. I'm probably going to have to figure this out and how it comes together, but uh, hopefully I'll get there. So I think these go up here. Yeah, so go ahead and connect these to the other ball joints on the torso, just like that. You can tell, like that, and we're, oh, it's attached, <laughs> looking for it on the ground, like so. Right, so there you have that. That's just kind of open for now. So there's what it looks like. It kind of looks weird, but let's keep going. Next, what you want to do, I'm trying to think, because the rest of these connect to the face. So, hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead. So this face is like a pentagon. So on these top two right here, I'm gonna connect these with the gunmetal gray bones. These right here. So those are kind of going to connect to the top ones, like so. Then you're going to connect these, and it's going to be a bit tricky. These are going to go into the ball joints from the smaller torso, right here behind the year box. So let's do them one at a time. Hope this doesn't turn into a big mess. So I can't look for a good angle, but over here, basically just attach them back here. Like so. There you go. That was probably going to be the hardest part, but it's done now. So then you got to put this face over the eye, so that the eye is looking through it. And we'll fiddle with all this once we have everything else attached. So next is going to be these, and these will go on either side, of course. So these are going to attach onto the side right here. And actually, I think I'm going to attach something wrong. All right, so these don't attach. These are gravy pieces don't attach to the larger torso, they attach to the smaller one back here on these ball joints. So go ahead and move those, sorry about that. Yeah, now I remember, yeah, that's right. So yeah, now we kind of angle these down, so there you go. Come on, yeah, like I said, this thing, not the easiest to assemble, or at least keep together. So yeah, there, that's right. So then, that means these right here will attach here, and then they'll kind of pull back and attach back there. So you kind of fan them out just a bit, and then have these um, the uh, shells on them kind of go under here to shape it up. So then, let's do it on the other side. And this, 
and then connect it here like that oh my gosh this is popping out come on keep it together all right so now we have it all assembled let's just uh, finish this thing up So these blue shells, like I said, just gonna kind of go under here to, um, you know, provide some shaping, like so. Yep. Sorry about this, guys. Just trying to get everything the way it needs to be because this face is not as far back as it should be hmm yep this is gonna be a long one this should have been so much more simpler alright sorry about that guys I got it fixed basically what you want to do is extend these top ones a little bit more. They're all going to be bent like this, so it's going to be an angle, and then that'll cause this uh, rib cage piece to come up to here, which where it should be. Next, you can just put these uh, gunmetal gray shells down to armor up the sides and just cover them. There you go. That's done. Then this top part is going to come and rest on here to cover up the top. Next, what you want to do is pull this down, and then that's just going to kind of come down in between here. Just move these in, and then move these out so that you can fit this, and that will just fit into the ribcage piece. Next, what you want to do, make sure this all pressed together, just pull these, uh, come on, pull these forward, and then kind of rest them onto the sides, like so. I did something wrong, but it doesn't matter. You can always switch it yourself. So, there we have it. There is Cortex all built up. Sorry, this one was longer than it should have been because uh, this is an unorthodox mock. This one's very different. Very, very different. So, yeah, there you have it. So, there's Cortex. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it despite all the long, elongated parts. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please leave a like if you did enjoy. And hopefully you subscribe to see more mock content. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.